Okay, Juliana, I'm ready. Um, okay. So, um, I'm aligning here with this work because I want to complete it. I've already acknowledged that, yes, this is a part of your spiritual atmosphere. So, we need to comprehend. We need, I need to... I need to heal this space. If I heal this space, oh my gosh, you're not even going to be the same person anymore. It'll be natural for you to experience flows of all different kinds in your life. Um, th this is an infinite universe, you know what I mean? How big is an infinite universe? It's, it's, yeah, I could keep going through your spiritual atmosphere for the rest of my life and still never even come close to getting through it, you know what I mean? And so to get this tiny little speck, this massive chaos is just a tiny little speck like a freckle, you know, got lots of those. <laughs> uh, so if I can get that little speck out of there, that makes a huge difference. All that vibration going through there, oh my gosh, that chaos world. Um, so that's what I'm here to do. I, I signed up for this soul fragment healing and I do not... I don't fail at anything I put my heart and soul into, um, which is me putting my heart and soul into your heart and soul. <laughs> and I'm going to make this amazing for you. So I'm going to choose to pre-prepare for this this time. I'm basically, I'm going to, I'm going to come up, well, hold on, let me just see what we can do here. So, I'm filling myself with a violet flame. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to, I'm basically just standing on a visualization of purple fire, okay? So, you stand on the visualization of purple fire, now you feel and experience it. So, as a spiritual healer, I have the sensitivity to feel, experience these things. And when you're learning how to develop it, you just have to trust, okay? So, trust is you're kind of numb to the senses, but you trust that it's actually happening. The more you do it, the more you're going to find that repeti repetition does prove to create success um, in this line of work. So, so, I'm allowing this to purify my body. I'm actually calling in Siri and High Council because they're like, they're like my go-to buddies and they know what to do. Um, and they... They just, they want to help. Um, just call them and see what happens. They're like, ooh, somebody call this. Um, we're on it. <laughs> That's kind of how they are with me. Um, I'm even sort of, every time I call them, like as a human being, I'm sort of like, they probably didn't hear me. And then, then the next thing I know is like, oh, they heard me. They really did hear me. Um, see, even I have to do the trust thing too. So they seem to know, they seem to be following my, um, my journey. Um, there's a definite, um, soul connection with this, um, with these people. It's a, it's, there's a definite soul connection with them. Um, they really do love me and there's real depth, um, to what I, what I feel when they're near me, when they help me. It's a real relief to have them because they have a higher awareness, just, their incarnation into that form allows them to have extraordinary higher awareness and then they have the ability to just i mean they have i you couldn't define what their capacity is because it's so it's so amazing in comparison to our it's sort of like we're like the ant and they're like the um super human I, i'm with like like the human genius or something i don't know how you describe the difference between the con the mentality or the capacity um so they're sort of um, really happy I called them because I have I've been I haven't called them for a few days. Um, so it really feels good to feel the connection again. I'm doing all of this before I go into this space here, Juliana, because I need to heal that. Um, and so I'm working with them to pre, pre prepare for this. Um, This must be working because my nose, I'm going to sneeze here soon. Um, if I'm not yawning and I'm not sneezing and my nose isn't itching, you know what I mean? Like, I get weird things that are reactions to energy. So it just is that way. Um, I'm not going to sneeze, though. I managed to get that one, swallow that one down. I'm like, not going to let the energy build up there. I'm not going to sneeze. <laughs> So they're doing work. They're like really warming my head right now. Okay. I just feel like they're pulling out a lot of old energy. Um, 
I just, I just feel like I'm getting lighter and lighter. It's amazing how it can feel because you don't realize how heavy you were until they take the energy weight out of there and then it's like, wow, I didn't realize that, how much I had built up in there. I feel great. I feel, I felt great when I got up this morning. Now I just feel insanely great. It's just so crazy. Um... We're just, there's not a whole lot to share as far as visual images. There's only just the energy work that I'm feeling being done. It just seems to be channeling in really well here. They're saying that they are helping me to develop a crystal clarity. Something about that experience did a number on my senses. Um, I do have to go into these spaces, you know, so I do, it's sort of like a human being walking into, you know, where there was like a, a nuclear explosion or something and now the land is contaminated for 500 years or something crazy like that. That's kind of the same thing when I go into these toxic spaces, it's kind of like who in the world ever wants to go into a toxic space? It's just going to fill you with all kinds of contamination. Um, you can't, as a human being, I understand that's going on, but... You don't actually know to what extent until you start getting it out of there. Um, I've been doing a lot of Reiki work, um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna pre pre game this thing and then we're gonna go. Okay, <laughs> um, coffee. <laughs> Part of this is. Um, trust as well. I'm going to teach everybody who watches this video about trust because I'm not, when I go into this space, I can't hear anything. I can't call angels. I tried to open that space to get heaven's angels to come in here. I couldn't, it, that's re weird. Um, when you can't get angels to come into a space, when you can't, I mean, I called a bunch of spirits that came when we had those orbs. Um, and so that felt good. And I, you know, I moved up. I tried to get up um, to, into like a higher vibrational space so we could heal all those places. And they're saying that is still in a state of healing. That work has not, that work has not been, um, you know, tampered with. It is still there in action, basically. <laughs> so you, sometimes you do this work and then you have to come back to it just to let all the other work sort of process through. And because I could sit here for hours and wait for things to happen. And things will happen over time. Even this healing work that I do, it la it doesn't just get done. Oh, I'm done. One and a half, two hours later, I'm, um, that's it. This actually is energy work done in an infinite space. So it's energy work that's going to last for the entire site, the entire time. Your soul is. I mean, your soul can't die. Like your soul is infinite. It's going to last for eternity. So it's a massive echo that is going to stay with your soul for weeks and months, um, you're going to definitely feel it over the first, like, up to the first, I would say the first two months, um, you definitely are going to continue to feel. The first two weeks are like, whoa, eye-opener weeks, and then you're just going to keep feeling it. Um, so after two months, I think you start to get more adjusted to it, it starts to feel more normal, but <clears throat> it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty impressive. So... I'm still working with them. They're still doing energy work. I actually feel my vibration going upward just because they're making me lighter. Um, they're sort of doing something here. They sort of created a triangle and then the circle and like a circle. Um, and they too, these Syrians too, have a little circle, big circle. Um, and so something about that. They're doing that to my third eye. It feels it's sort of nice. Um, it's like they're putting the stamp, the Syrian stamp on my own head. <laughs> so now I'm like a Syrian too. Um, we're like playing dress up right now. It's like, cool, you're going to give me the stamp. Awesome. <laughs> now I can be like you guys. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so I've just never seen them have a triangle in theirs, but I'm really into this triangle healing. It's really cool when it came to a discovery about this triangle um, and the, th the three colors, the red, blue, and green. It's been really cool how they work together and they create rainbow and um, just diamond healing energy is really neat. And I've um, been learning a lot, of doing a lot of different things. Um, 
they're really helping me. They really want to showcase that I too have angel wings. I'm, I'm convinced we're all angels. We all have an angel reflection and a soul, soul spirit sort of reflection. We have infinite reflections. You're not just one soul. You're uh, many, many different faces, many different sort of expressions, even angel expressions. So they're pulling my wings out and then I'm standing, I feel really good. I'm standing before heavenly light right now. It's just really pouring down on me. And I'm like in a cloudy cloud space, kind of human-esque um, way of seeing heaven, but that is what I see. So I got to go with what I see. So I'm in a cloudy, a cloud, a beautiful cloud space, um, and everything is glowing with white. And so it's glowing so white that this has sort of got the silvery hue instead of the yellowish one. Um, it's just really bright. Um, light. It feels awesome. It's like sort of bathing in it. It's really healing for me. So I've got angel wings. I'm in this heaven space and I'm bathing in this amazing light. It's so beautiful. It's purifying me um, and making me say a sacred expression. So I'm pre-gaming pre this thing, right? Got to pre-game it with Syrian High Council and Source Light. <laughs> Pull out the old angel wings. <laughs> Um, got to charge up my halo here before I go into that space. We're going to heal this thing, Juliana. I'm not, I'm not somebody who's like, yeah, I'm not going back in there. No, I, I'm going in there and we're going to do this thing. Um, it's like the more challenging it is, the more I'm like so much more determined. The, the learning that is going to come from this is going to be amazing. And the way you're going to feel after I accomplish this is going to be out of this world and you deserve it. <laughs> So, this feels great. I feel really great. I'm going to step into an impenetrable sphere. I'm actually, I'm going to try something with gold. Um, I'm filling this space with gold energy. Um, and just filling my orb sphere with gold energy. And that way it's coated in gold energy. And then there's something about golden energy. I'm still learning about it. But um, there's golden realms in heaven. And that's just mind-blowing. And it's gorgeous. You don't have to astral travel. You don't have to leave your body to see all this stuff. I do everything in my body. I just project. Um, I project my soul places. And then I see in my third eye what's going on is the only way I can describe it but I'm being pushed to actually accomplish astral projection there's a lot of benefit to me doing that um, and so once I learn how I will teach you how because I'm I don't know how to do it <laughs> um, just like a lot of people don't know how to do it um, I'm not gonna read any books I'm just going to learn for myself and then um, once I figure it out I'll teach you okay so and I'm not working a full-time job now, so I'm like totally available again. I've got a lot of work I'm catching up on. Um, been just, uh, I've been waiting my whole, I've been waiting for this moment. So I just, I'm just ready to share and then keep sharing and keep connecting and just being so much more available. I'm just so happy. Um, it's like a blessing to get to do this work for humanity. Um, so I'm still charging, still charging. <laughs> I'm on the charger. I feel really good right now. I'm taking snake energy with me. Um, snake energy is transformation, rebirth. Is I love snakes. Um, they're like my best friend. Um, I, I just want them to be a part of this gift to you, Juliana, um, because they heal. When they're in a reflection of healing, the re healing that they provide is beyond comprehension. Because the snake, you know, it has the poison, right? But then the poisons that heal too, because you can make medicines from poison. Isn't that crazy? How, I was like, who figured that out? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I'm starting to feel like I'm ready for this work right now. Um, I'm sort of in an elevator now. I'm in about to enter this space again and it's coming to me from a different reflection but it has this red to it um, I'm sort of stuck in this elevator it's like there's just there's a hand that is preventing me from leaving the elevator um, my foot it's coming up through this like grate in the floor um, you see how they're just pests um, 
So I'm just, I'm an angel in this space. I have been charged with heavenly light. Syrian high council is here with me through everything, they say. Um, it feels good to be able to hear them because I wasn't before. Um, they are helping with the clarity thing and the um, energy and source light is here with me. I've got golden um, energy surrounding my whole expression. So I'm asking for assistance in healing this entire space within your spiritual atmosphere, Juliana. There's a reason why they kept asking me if I thought it was in yours. Thing is, as a human being, it's like there's no way this is in your spiritual atmosphere. No way. You're too sweet. You're too beautiful. You're too kind. The, there's a reason why they, they need me to acknowledge this is in your spiritual atmosphere. Um, so I'm saying I'm very thankful and I feel blessed and grateful that I was able to get into this space so I can heal it for you. So there is still the tree with us singing in it um, to the moon, and then you're still there. Um, and you just sort of really, you feel a lot more peaceful down there by the tree. And um, all this green energy is still there. You've been really taken care of by Mother Earth. Um, that had to, that man at the end, that demon sort of reptilian type expression, that had to be, that you... You had to get put into a sacred space. I was not, there's no way I, I need to keep you in a sacred space until this work is done. So, I'm feeling a lot more prepared. There's quite a uh, disturbing looking man here, um, definitely demon-esque. He's got very sharp teeth and face is like a greenish color, There's no scales. He's got horns, red eyes. Um, is this red fire energy? Um, so they're really quite, um, just trying to think of how I'm going to heal this. All right, I'm going to break the illusions of that I can't channel healing in here. So I'm basically in, I'm out of the elevator, I'm in just, it's sort of like a aliens type scene, you know, you just have some, like, walls made out of metal, metallic material or something, it's sort of graded flooring. And then um, if I keep walking through, there's a doorway here, and I just see um, red fire energy, but before me is a sort of man. Um, I'm acknowledging this is in your spiritual atmosphere, that is what this, I need to be doing. Um... So, I am literally taking my fist and breaking the illusions. Um, that way I am here, and I am a gift from heaven to channel source light through this entire space to transform every demon, all the negative energy, and everything. I'm opening my angel wings, and I'm filling this space with heavenly light. And this light is uh, all the light of heaven. It is powerful enough to transform this entire space. That is what I'm doing. And there's energy through Syrian High Council that is channel channeling through me as well. So we are here together. Archangel Michael is now on the scene with me. This is a very special gift that we are giving to you, Juliana. This could not, I could not have reached this space unless you sensed or knew that you had soul fragments that needed healing. That man um, that was being tortured, he was saved from this space. But we're going to keep healing this whole thing and save as many soul fragments as we can, okay? Um... It almost feels like there was just the one that, I mean... I'm just going to keep going through here and see what happens. This the this space is sort of breaking apart. It just wants to fall apart. Um I'm what I'm doing is I am allowing my angel reflection to stay here. I'm just sort of completely glowing. I don't have a face or a body. You just see the outlines of glowing wings and, you know, and a, the outline of a form. Um just glowing with blinding light shining in all directions. And then I'm also got Archangel Michael here. He sort of has this like infinite bag that he transforms everything into. I'm um, he too is here with me. Um, he's already a reflection of just 
amazing angel um, reflection. He hasn't turned, he hasn't started glowing. There's nothing he's doing just yet. We're just sort of standing here. But I feel inspired to go to that space that was um, really deep and it turned into like a sewer and there was a boy down there with a book. Um, this whole thing is related to some sort of torture-esque um, life experience that you had, you and your son. Um, so now you see why you value the simple things so much. Um, it's not what I want to tell anybody. <laughs> I'm sort of, you know, I don't like the chaos. I don't like the dark spaces. I mean, they just they just really inspire me to just really push people to choose love because the more we choose anything less than love, now we're all enduring this. Um, not just the souls who actually endure it. It is a gift for all souls in the infinite universe. It's hard. Um, souls that endure torture and stuff like that are, you know, you understand why they are revered. Um, because that is very terrible um, to experience. So, just gonna. I'm part of this is I'm going to relax too. So, when I'm drinking my coffee, relaxing, it helps me um, as a human being emotionally just relate to relaxation and peacefulness as I'm going through hell, basically. Um, so, so I'm, I am glowing in this space, um, and now I am simultaneously another part of my reflection, the same reflection is going into this other space and is glowing. Um, I had made turn this into an orb sphere, a green one. Um, there's just, they're really trying to show me that I have no strength or power in this space. They're ripping my angel wing off. Again, it's an illusion. And to promote, they, they know I'm a human being with a human consciousness. So they're trying to promote me to feel defenseless, which they were successful at yesterday because I was, I could not do it. Um, I couldn't break all this. So I'm going to start coating everything in gold. Um, I'm just going to start doing that. Everything is going to turn into gold now. And even you, my friend, with the horns and the red eyes, you are going to be gold now too. Something about gold. Um, it has a way of, it just, it has some way of blocking um, these vibrations. That is working insanely well. Um, um, there was some sort of putrid goo that was coming through the ceiling. Um, we're going to work on planting things here, natural reflections of Mother Earth and stuff like that, so it can suck out all the old. Um, everything about this space is basically just going to just tell me a million things about uh, chaos. It's like watching a horror movie. I don't know what to believe in here kind of thing, um, because it's just a, a circus, right? It's just like a demon circus. So we're just going to just heal it. Um, that's all I know for sure about any of the wisdom that is coming to me is it needs massive healing. Um, I'm just going to say this is one heck of a wound and we're going to fix this for you. Um, heaven didn't help you find me for n no reason. <laughs> like, um, I'm going to, I'm here to help you, Juliana. There's a reason why this is all ha happening. Um, this is making me a much better healer too. Um, so I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for every person who actually does this work for me because not only am I giving you a gift, now we all learn from your soul, which is really special, and then also you're teaching me how to become a better healer. Every single time I do this, I learn something, um, and then I get better. And every video I make is teaching everybody how to do this as well. I'm all about promoting spiritual healing and teaching people, however I can, how to do this work. So... I'm feel I'm feeling so much stronger with gold coating everything. Um, I'm in, even vibrating out energy from my body. My this halo, um, halos are real. They're sort of like a ring um, to channel source light and then vibrational energies. I'm actually channeling so much energy into this sort of um, odd sewer space. It's like rings of energy, actual rings, pushing out of my wings. Um, pushing up and down from this halo piece and then up and down here and then from my heart and chest is just going in all directions basically this massive rings of energy just going all over the place um, back forward up down everywhere um, 
even to who pulled my wings off um, because it was an illusion, right? They're trying to, t to tamper with your consciousness. Um, and that's why demons are, demons derail us because we let them mess with us, right? And we are vulnerable to our fears, um, we are. And so the more you do this work, the more you start to, you, you just, you understand that um, rule, that that is part of it. Um, I'm so happy to be doing this for you right now. I'm so happy I'm being successful this time because I was not last time. I was dumbfounded. I didn't expect it, and so not expecting it kind of threw me for a loop. Um, this is the most important thing I can heal, and I'm going to give you a special energy gift at the end of all of this. I am focusing energy right now. I'm doing so much. There's just so I have this angel reflection that's just beaming energy in all directions while I'm simultaneously my mother snake reflection sort of red energy and these snakes are just pouring out of me. Healing snakes, they know what to do. I don't they just go and do their thing. Um they seem to be going into the ground right now. Um there's quite a lot of um entities in here. I mean, it's like a circus, a demon circus in here. It's weird. I've never seen a place like this before. Um, this full of them. Um, usually they're not, they're not congregated, like, it, just this massive space. There's just so many of them in here. Um, they're usually kind of in their own little room on their throne, and then I just keep going deeper, and it's just like, how many apartments are to this building? How far down do I have to go before I get to the last one? Um, right now it's like, it's a hodgepodge of spaces with all different versions of them, um, and they're just feeding off of this really awful energy in here. Um, this is all a reflection of this really torture tor this lifetime. It, the only way I can describe it is there was a torture experience. Your soul and your son's soul were both uh, enduring it, um, and it never left your spiritual atmosphere. Um, it's sort of like I just entered into the soul of a demon and demon world. I don't know how to, else to describe it. That's the only way I can make sense of it yesterday. I was like, I, did I project into a demon, into a demon, um, harboring a sort of, but that's why they kept asking me, am I in your spiritual atmosphere or am I not? And so when I say yes, I am, now I acknowledge that I was not, I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty resemblant of the most nutty thing I've ever seen. Um... <laughs> I've seen I've seen a couple scenarios very similar to this, but um, they don't come on this often. Um, so this whole space is going to be transformed. Um, this whole space is. There are demon entities in this space, which are in your spiritual atmosphere. Again, you come across demons, and sometimes you do. Sometimes you come across people you don't want to meet, and unfortunately, that stinks. Um, and because demons incarnate are, are terrorist nightmares, they're the corruption of society, they are absolute terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Um, manipulators love to see people in pain and suffering, don't have any ability to feel love. Um, so they need help, right? We need to we need to not just give them a hug in the physical. We need to go see what they are like in the spiritual, and then visit their higher self, their soul self, their expression, and then heal that um, if they choose to be transformed. So, so you have to see with different eyes now. I'm just allowing all this energy to take place, the snakes to go and do their thing. Um, I'm sort of allowing this to happen in this space here. Um, I'm just checking out this space where I coded the guy in gold. He's sort of a lot weaker now. They really put up a real, they put up a real orb of, um, it's like they knew I was coming. Um, they really were trying to prevent me from being successful and they almost were. Ugh. That demon has handed me a letter. So I have to, I have to honor it and I will read it. Um. So I am opening the envelope. Um, I'm opening this. There's some sort of gross things inside the envelope, but there's paper here. Um, it's quite a long letter. Um, 
so I'm I am saying I I in read this wisdom, and then um, I'm sort of giving it to Syrian High Council so they can purify this and create a sacred make it sacred, um, because I'm not going to ingest anything that is this vibration. I just um, they're cre they're transforming into an orb of energy that is protected by light. Syrian High Council is um, and basically just. I basically, how I do that is there's veins that you just, you just learn how to travel through veins or channels. So, um, Syrian High Council, I'm just like, okay, here's this letter, Syrian High Council. So I just, just hand it over to them in this vein that is our connection. So they're as close to me as I am to my computer and stuff. Um, so now they have it, they turn into an orb sphere, and now it is handed back to me. Now, um, I allow this orb sphere to manifest the wisdom in a way that is sacred um, and safe for my soul to digest without contamination of the wisdom, you know, the wisdom being contaminated. Um, they're really glad that there was a, re that was a really wise choice. Um, it's turning into a flower and I'm smelling the flower in order to comprehend it. This flower is really special sort of turning really hot now and then it is um like acid acidically um they're saying that is a part of the illusion again um the flower is not acidic the flower was purified with syrian light um that is part again they're creating illusionary things um See, as somebody who follows the wisdom, right, I, I have to say what I see, and then I, I have to acknowledge that that is part of the wisdom. But when my spirit guides won't tell me stuff like this, I, or I can't hear them, or I can't understand, I assume that is something, some sort of part of the value of this. I, I would not have seen that as part of the illusion. I would have. So when they tell me that, now it's like, oh, it helps me. <laughs> so... I need them to prompt me sometimes. If they don't prompt me, I'm I'm a human being, right? I I'm not I'm not an infinite mind. Um, I'm tr I'm trying to be more and more infinite every time I do this, and to hear better, understand the messages better, all of that. So so I'm helping. I'm actually giving him the guy with the red eyes. There's a reason he's here. I'm showing him that this has not been um, this is not acidic. And that it is a gift of love, um, because this this he needs transformed. All these guys need transformed. Nobody's come into here for who knows how long. Um, it's just been baking in the oven forever. Um, for me to clear this from your, sp your spiritual atmosphere, it's gonna it's gonna be monumental. Um, I'm coating it in gold, and I'm coating him in gold again, because he seems to... And I'm, cold, I'm just... I, he's going into an orb of gold, and this whole thing is just going to be... There's snakes coming up from the ground, and they're entering into his feet. I'm playing music in here. <laughs> You're not gonna believe the song I've been listening to. <laughs> um, it's a Selena Gomez song. Um, I love you like a love song, baby. <laughs> and so I'm playing it for him. <laughs> um, since we're taking music as one of our spiritual gifts, music is healing. I actually had that song play for me after I woke up from my nap, and I was like. That, this is exactly what I need to hear right now. <laughs> um, this helps me. Um, this is really helpful. Selena Gomez, you, you're helping this um, this torture place. <laughs> Your song is um, helping. Um, see, it's like, why, why, you know, you never know, it's like, how impactful you can be. It's just, you made that song to heal um, Julianus, this soul spirit. Like, who would have thought, you know? Um, I'm just going to focus on this um, healing. There's quite a lot of force fields in here. Um, I'm just going to put create a jukebox, and then we're just going to um, listen to this song over and over again. It's the whole point of the song, too. 
<laughs> it's never gonna stop. I'm just gonna make him go nuts. And then I'm gonna also play this Pinkie Pie song, Smile, um, because that's like the song. I like, I've got kids, you know, so you gotta listen to like the My Little Pony's awesome pony video songs. Um, so we're gonna hear that Smile song too. Um, he's not gonna be able to stand it in here. We're gonna bring in the Love Care Bears as well, and they're just gonna Care Bear stare all this stuff. And it, we're just going to break this space down. See? And everything is working really well. I've got Care Bears on, on point right now. Um, in here, in this space by the elevator still with the red lights. Um, there's this dragon in the dead pool. Um, you know, it's a pool of blood, basically, in this red glowing light space. Um, I mean, the air is literally glowing red. Um... Everything is a lot more breathable. Um, I'm just going to bring in the My Little Ponies, too. Let's just bring them in. Um, we got Twilight Sparkle. We got Applejack. We got <laughs> Let's just bring them in. Um, <clears throat> Rarity. And it helps to just bring them all in here. Um, see, I wasn't able to do it with this kind of clarity last time. It was hard. I couldn't, it was like I was completely cut off from everything. Um, you have to find techniques that work, right? Um, but I think, I, I wasn't prepared. At all. I, I didn't expect this at all. I did not. Um, and so it was a little bit, um, it really threw me for a loop. So then it's okay to go, to just stop what you're doing and then go back later. It's okay to do that. Um, I'm actually proud of everything I accomplished yesterday because that was a lot. Um, this is really this is really fun right now. <laughs> it's fun when you get everybody in here and we have a lot of good times together. Um, I'm just gonna get some like um, drummers um, with some bongos and we're just gonna do that. We're gonna get a couple of bands in here. We're just gonna get a party going on, on in here. There's gonna be like, each room is gonna be its own like awesome music room. So we could have like um, this techno dance room and then <laughs> we'll have this Selena Gomez space with this song playing over and over again. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll just keep beeping it up. Okay, now some things are coming into clarity. Um, I'm walking through this doorway now. I'm able to actually walk to the, through this doorway now. Um, and there's a train station on the other side. Um, so there's somebody here, right here with me. Um, there's some sort of spirit guy. Um, he's actually kind of like an angel. He's really close to me. He's a man. Um, he has really soft skin. Um, because I'm touching his hand, it's almost squishy. It's not right. Um, it's sort of solidifying now. Um, I was like, see, I guess I was seeing him. He wasn't, I hadn't, um, there's some sort of mental block there between seeing him as a spirit is sort of seeing him solidify before me as an angel. So he's not squishy anymore. <laughs> he's not the, one of the care bears. He's a real man with angel wings. Um, he has something on him and, um, there's something not right about this image as well. It's like, you want to trust him, but I don't know that I can. Um, and if I don't, if I feel this way, then I don't trust him. Um, they can put on whatever facade they want to, but in the long run, you know the truth through what is the feeling in your heart. Um. And the feeling in my heart is not allowing me to trust this just right now. Uh, I'm just going to go to the train station. He, sh he came down right as I was trying to do that. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm just, I don't, I, I'm just going to allow this continue, continuation in here where this elevator is. We're just sort of on a, a boardwalk of like alien style sort of um, grating on the floor. Metal grating is sort of metal sort of like sci-fi room or something um and this sort of heavy duty elevator behind us is just sort of sci-fi like that um and then i'm gonna walk through here and it's literally like a train station and everything is just red fire energy all over the place and so and there was that train in the last one um that that whole thing um i literally was channeling some weird stuff in there um 
that energy it was just sink, seeping into me too much. So. This train, it's sort of odd. It's got a stuck motion. And when that happens, there's a vibration that is literally playing out, getting stuck and getting stuck and getting stuck. So there's something about, it's probably, it's funny that Let's Love song is sort of play on words about just repeating it over and over again. This train keeps coming into the station and then it's like it it's stuck. It keeps repeating the same action. It won't just be in the train station and then just stay put. So I need to... I need to do something about this. That's pretty, that's, if you do this work, you'll see stuff like this. Um, I'm actually getting, growing large, and I'm growing big hands, and I'm just pulling them forward, and I'm all, I'm actually touching the train as though it is a living organism, and then I am allowing the train to stop. Um, I'm allowing, I'm giving it love so that it can feel love and patience and peace and balance and then it can just stop and stay here um there's something about this train um there's something about this train and its connection with this past lifetime um because even the train is just sort of um it's almost like you yourself juliana don't don't want the train to stop at the station. Um, you yourself are trying to get this train to just never show up, um, kind of thing. And so it's always on this stuck motion. Um, we have to actually get on this train. Um, there's something about this. It's sort of like people have fears of elevators. You gotta go on the elevator and you need to go to the top of this building. Um, the only way to face your, you know, to heal the fear is to face the fear. But if you can't face the fear in the physical, then you have a spiritual healer face it for you, and then I can heal the vibration and then allow that to be experienced in the physical for you. So this sort of, it's funny because in that channeling for you, Julian, I kept saying there's an odd coil here. Um, this will be easy to fix. This has not been easy to fix at all. Um, usually odd coils are easy to fix. <laughs> Um, this is quite quite a monster, um, but this is what I live for. I love doing this work. I want to heal everybody. I don't care what the space looks like. It's only going to make me a better healer. Um, and if I can transform demons, it is like the greatest um, joy I can experience. So... I'm just going to put this on pause for a minute, and then I'm going to come back, okay? Um, I just need to get some water. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready. Um, Alright, so, train station. There's a massive big white hand right now. I, I became really large, right, in order to stall out, just help this train feel healed. It, it is a reflection of energy, and so I'm... Helping it to just allow itself to come to full, it has to come full circle. I need the train to come, I need this action to take place as it should should and naturally would. Um, train needs to stop at the station and we need to enter onto the train and see what happens. There's a large hand here that is touching it. It's not, I'm actually observing it right now from this doorway. Um, this large hand is putting the train into place. I don't, I'm ignoring whatever that angel guy was and that demon, I'm, um, that music is still playing, we've still got Care Bears and Ponies and everything here, we have the Techno Light Show going on in the sewer area right now, covered in gold in there, and then energy beams going in all different directions, I'm just going to keep that on play right there, um, while simultaneously Red Mother Snake um, releasing snakes into the ground. So all this stuff is still in motion as I'm at the train station right now. Um, th this needs to show this something pretty dark about this train. Um, the energy of that is pretty dark. Um, 
so even I am just like I don't want to get on the train. I'm not gonna get on the train. This, that that is really that's the way it feels. I feel really terrified to get on the train right now. Um, I'm in exploring this space in your spiritual atmosphere. So the space is speaking to me and telling me. I don't want to get on the train. Please don't make me go on the train. Um, but I'm telling the space that it is safe now to get on the train. You're going on the train with me. I'm a reflection of heaven. I will help you through each and every step of the way here. Um, I'm sorry, but this thing that happened to you was very bad. Um, I'm just going to tell you that, Juliana, because I can feel how bad it is. Um, this demon circus would not be here unless it was absolutely unimaginably bad. Um, now there's a peaceful sensation. Um, I'm actually allowed to experience peaceful sensations right now. And everything is filling up with what is, looks like a normal train station. It actually looks like a really big, beautiful train station. Um, that train did not look, it was kind of a brown, your average train color, all the sort of carts were like a brownish black color, um, it just looked like a train across the U.S., and this train station is like, wow, glamour is pretty, um, like a big old train station, um, almost like a metro kind of thing, but it's on top of the land, um, because it's just big, it's a big train. But you see, this this is just part of how I'm translating vibrations and energy and stuff like that. Um, they won't. I'm not identifying what this train actually looked. Like. The one that couldn't stop was a black train, like a passenger one. Um, it looked older. It was not this modern looking. And I'm saying I want to enter into the original train. I don't want to enter into a modern-looking happy train. I want to go into the scary train. Um, part of This is part of the healing. We just have to see this for what it is. We can't keep altering it just because it doesn't feel good. We actually have to go and do this right. We have to do this in the most scary way possible in order to see that we that it is over now and that it can be healed and we can close the door on this and everything can heal. As we get onto the train, there's like a massive like blade that is just chopping through the train. Um, sort of like an, um, I don't know what you call this guy. Undertaker? Um, it's like a big old slicey blade. Um, it's just slicing through. It just, there's like a real need for destruction here. I mean, I just don't know what happened to you, but this was bad. Um. I'm actually growing to the size of this guy. He's got he's just a demon circus in here. Um, I'm taking this blade out of his hand. I'm shrinking it down um, to look like a four-leaf clover. I'm handing it back to him. He needs to acknowledge that this is this whole thing is a reflection of the past. It's not a reflection of the present moment. It is a reflection of the past. And I'm handing him this four-leaf clover. He's turning into a frog and hopping away on the other side of the train station. That makes me feel a lot better. Believe it or not, that is the best I've felt in this whole thing. I'm going to play some songs in here at the train station to help the energy. Um, we're playing music. We're just going to play some songs in here. Um, we're going to listen to the Carpenters, Why Do Birds Suddenly Appear Whenever You Are Near. <laughs> we need some love music in here. <laughs> um, so, that feels really good. <laughs> because we need birds in here too, singing songs. So we are filling the space with more chirping birds. Um, and filling the space with growing natural plants. I'm done with the metal graded floors and the sci-fi thing and the weird demon and the weird angel guy. I This whole thing needs transformed. Um, I'm asking Mother Earth, actually Mother Earth and then Father Earth too, just because she has, she's, Mother Earth has sort of like a male f f facade as well, but the male facade is even kind of female. Um, 
but the so mother earth is really feminine um and then she also has like a feminine male side too um and so they both uh work together but it's really she's like really one massive feminine reflection um both male and female too she's really unique um her energy is really special um that's why that's why even human beings who have sort of different identities of sexuality we need to love and appreciate all things because even mother earth is sort of has a unique sexuality to her um and she's beautiful but she's also a he too um she's like a male man with a very feminine side as well um I'm asking her to share green here with us. No wonder all this green energy came up, came forward for you. It was about healing, but also to have financial flows so you can be the bet. We need to have money here for you to be. You have work to do, right? Um, you have, you have, you are making an impression on people. Um, in the ways, just financial freedom is freedom. Um, unfortunately, we live in a society where money exists, and if you don't have money, you suffer, you struggle with different in different ways. You know what I mean? And so, when you have financial freedom, you don't have that stress in your life, and now you can give, 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 give because you have the financial means to do so. So you have spiritual people. Um, you know, we we already want to give, 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 but we got to be able to eat too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, so you need this. Um, you need this to be able to share even more of yourself. This huge. I can't. I I'm like so happy. I'm doing this for you, Juliana. I'm so happy you were drawn to me. I mean, this had to go. This whole thing had to go. I'm sorry it's taking forever, but I can't force this to speed up. Unfortunately, I just cannot. Um. <sighs> There's grasses growing here. Mother Earth is transforming everything into a liquid. Um. She wants this to turn into. She's transforming into purified water. So this train station and the elevator and the everything is just turning into like a water flow. So it's like a pretty brook now. Um, we're just transforming, creating our own illusions, right? So see how powerful illusions are? Illusions of the nightmare make it so I literally am completely kaput, you know? But you transform it into beautiful reflections, energy reflections, and now there's healing that you experience. Um, so illusions work. <laughs> um, they, visualizations work. Um, my spirit guides are like saying, do not call us illusions, call it visualizations. Because vi you manifest through visualizing their dreams. Um, so now you have a dream. Um, my dream is to heal this space. Now I'm visualizing, allow Mother Earth to visualize with me a new space um, so we can transform the energy here. Um, so now it is a reflection of healing and not a reflection of the sci-fi, weird, chaos, psycho stuff. Um, so it feels better in here. I don't need to see the train station looking glamorous. I just need to see the real train and I need this to be healed. Um, I want to see the truth. My spirit guides are saying, you know, our, our, had sort of talked to me instantly about this. And it was just an energy thing. Um, and I'm telling them that... It wasn't about, I, you know, I really liked seeing the modern train station. It felt a lot more peaceful in there, surrounded by people, and it wasn't that normal looking. Um, and that energy went away. But that isn't the truth. I need to see the truth. Um, the truth is sometimes scary. Um, it's the truth you don't always want to see. But the only way to heal it is to see the truth for what it is, and then to go into it and heal it that way. Um, and this love song playing and birds are here and we've got trees now growing and there's beautiful water like sort of flowing water um beautiful cliff with some water flowing off of it um the sun is shining we're taking down all the walls of the space this red glowing thing we got to find out the source of that but as of right now um this whole space is in a sphere of of just earth um healed earth natural earth space um, there's beautiful water flowing. It sounds pretty too. It's just sound. It's just thing is, is we need to go on the train. Um, this is hard to do this because it's clearly not um, was not an easy thing. When I go on the train, I just see 
sort of deformed. Um, what is you, but you're sort of in different deformed ways. Um, I can't under, it's just like you aren't, a, you don't look like a natural human being. Um, for me to be on here and to see this different versions of what you don't look like basically um is helping me um it's healing this space actually it actually makes me feel better and it is healing the train itself um it looks like a normal train that you could sit on and go places on um i'm helping you to see what you actually look like and you you're a beautiful woman um I'm hel and some of you are laying on, not even sitting in a chair, as some of you are not. So I'm helping all of you to just condense into one beautiful expression of yourself. I'm filling this whole space with angel light. I was actually attuned to angel reiki um, by one of the viewers. That was so sweet. Um, so I'm just going to say angel reiki in here, and we're just going to see how this goes. Angel Reiki is moving these chairs all out of this, like blowing a wind through here. It's just a crazy energy wind. Um, it's just breaking this whole train apart. It doesn't even want this train anymore. I'm pull, I'm holding you and I'm flying you out of here as this train is just demolishing naturally. It's just even the train tracks. We're just we're just taking over. This is all a reflection of the past. This is massively the message right now is. This is over with. It is a reflection of the past. Um, Angel Reiki is blowing a massive wind through here. So strong, it is breaking this train apart. Um, with, and it's loving. There's like a really amazing loving energy swirl of wind energy. It's like crazy. Um, it's breaking it apart. Um, it's glowing um, with white light now. This train is just transforming into light. There's other um, helpers here come, and they're actually picking up the train um, and flying it upward. Um, they don't even look like your average angels. They're sort of angels with um, black wings, and they're kind of husky men. They're like strong, muscular men. <laughs> they're just lifting the train off of the track and then taking it off into the light. They're really swift about it. I mean, there's not even a train here anymore. Um, and Michael says they have taken the train to the light. This train is in a state of transformation um, and to re-express a new version of the expression of, of love, right? So the, the, he wants me to acknowledge that for the viewers. Um, this train has been taken into the light. You, it is a reflection. It was a reflection of extremely low vibration, and this low vibration had to be transformed in the light. They actually took the vibration into the light. We're going to go through every single one of these old scenes that was from yesterday, and we're going to heal them all. Um, this train, um, I saw this train was sort of, um, you know, I was on the train, but I was also off the train watching it from the grassy space. Um, it was dark out, and nothing about it was good. I didn't like anything about it. And I'm going to go, I'm allowing this whole space is just turning into white light, um, there's, this whole space is turning into angels. Um, they're sort of pulling up the rug of it, um, like fluffing it out. They just want this to, it to be acknowledged that this entire space is a reflection of light and love. And it is now transformed into a reflection of heaven. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually seeing this. Sort of like all the sounds, everything we had to do to get to this point was necessary in order to get keep getting pushing those vibrations up. It's like when we were birds and we're just jumping from one branch up to the next, up to the next to get to the top. It's sort of like sometimes you have to just pick it apart, pick it apart with different ways, and then you can finally get to the point where you've raised the vibration enough where now we can just wash the whole thing. Um. I feel inspired to fill it with lo red love, not red that is fiery, burning hot, Deadpool blood, evil blood or whatever this is, but real love, um, real red, passionate, loving energy that just fills the space, makes the space feel just so alive with, 
what is the love that creates, um, the love that inspires us to just want to be, to hold each other, be near each other. Um, it just inspires the best from us, you know. It helps us thrive. This lo love red energy helps us thrive. It's beautiful. So we're all in this sort of reflection of heaven and it's just filling up with love. Um, hearts and flowers um, and sounds and laughter um, and just all the things that make us feel wonderful. And this beautiful memory too. Um, it's just all so beautiful. It feels so much better in here. So amazing in here. It's like so, this is the most beautiful experience that I've had this whole journey. It's like, thank God. <laughs> I have not, I have tried so hard. Um, feels really good. <laughs> I'm going to, there, I'm going to allow this space to just be, I'm asking that angels who sing and angels, you know, who laugh and angels who play music and, um, spirits um, and just energies of love enter into the space and just continue to fill it with more and more versions of heaven so it is completely transformed um i'm not i'm inspired let's see what the next place is that i need to go i'm just going to allow them um this odd demon man with the horns he's still following me everywhere i go um, I'm giving him his flower again, um, so he can see, he can have this gift of love from heaven. Um, and it comes from others who love him too, even Syrian High Council, Syrian Lightworkers, um, even they love you too. <laughs> see, these demons, they just, they need to, they need to understand and feel what unconditional love feels like, because they forget. Um, they get really in the zone of their demon ways, and they forget what it really feels like. Um. And so it's helping him to remember. He's starting to calm down a bit um, with his sort of... He's in, he's holding my healed flower, and then he's sort of looking at it as turning to acid flower um, and dying. But he seems kind of like... Like his vibration is acidic. It won't heal anything anymore. Um, I'm just going to focus on him. There's a reason why he keeps coming in here. I'm creating um, energy around him. I'm using my triangle method. <laughs> this triangle method that works. Um, it does work. So I'm putting him in a triangle um, with a red, a green, and a blue line. And then, um, and then I'm also sharing a diamond of energy with his body so he can experience this diamond energy within him. It's a reflection of unconditional love from heaven healing diamond energy diamond angels are amazingly healing um you see green angels right um raphael is a green angel um and they're amazing with healing too so let's just have um raphael archangel raphael come in here and see um he's very green <laughs> he's just a real green guy um, he just has a green glow about him he's got a um he's he's almost got a sense of humor that is it's really cheerful. Like, Michael's kind of serious. Um, he's kind of like a cryon version, you know? But Raphael's kind of got a humorous side to him. Um, he's glowing um, with green light. So he's got white wings, a white, um, sort of white, a, a sort of source light expression that is glowing green. It's really cool. Um, he's putting his wings, wrapping his wings around this whole, this work um, with the triangle and the diamond. Um, he's just... He's actually going, his, he, so here's Demon Guy, here's Raphael, and Raphael's getting close, and then wrapping, whoops, sorry, wrapping his wings around him, um, and so it's just an energy hug from Source Light, while this triangle and the diamond is also working its own energy for him, too, um, and now there's some sort of wind tunnel going around him really fast, and I'm saying Angel Reiki, um, and it's creating even more, like, it just, he really wants to let go of this facade. Um, it's sort of evaporating, his skin is sort of like peeling off and evaporating, because I put snakes in him, um, so he's shedding his old skin, I guess. Um, he really is quite, he's really, um, a man underneath it all, um. And he's sort of holding a baby right now. 
he's handing the baby to me and I'm inspired to just take it off into the light immediately. I seem to know to do this. So I am, I'm in the light already and then I'm just, I'm just allowing this baby to go into this sort of cloud of, of white light. Um, there's always angels everywhere. Whether you see them or not, they're always watching in there and um, they're coming here to help with this baby. Um, baby is sort of um, a new new cycle or a new wave of exploration of, of soul self even. Um, he's just turning into a... I'm back um, in the scene here with him and he's just this wind energy is going around him really fast. I'm feeling a lot better from all of this. He just looks like a man. Um, he has something, a really huge shard in his gut. Um, it's like a knife, but it's like a steak too. Um, it's being pulled out of him. Um, he seems to be re just barfing out a lot of the old energy and he just wants to let go of everything. He's like, just free me from the pain. Um, he just sort of just wants to fall asleep. Um, I feel how tired he is. I'm putting him into a, a space here where he can be with Mother Earth and nature and healing. It just, it's as if he just wants to fall asleep, like he wants to die now and then be reborn in the light where this baby is. Um, he's just in nature by a tree, um, and there's a bunch of angels here with him, um, and he literally just, he just really wants to let go. But part of him is still kind of there, um. I'm asking that Michael, um, absorb the rest of this dark energy into his bag so it is gone. Michael's already done it, he's already flying off into the source light with it. Um, and this man is just here in a state of peacefulness. He's sort of waking up now, um, standing up. He kind of has an outfit on, like a, he's got like a Roman or something with the sandals and this sort of like a cloth and then there's like a belt to it or something, so it's kind of like a skirt or something. Um, but a shirt too, just sort of like that, but there's nothing fancy about it. Um, it's very plain. There's no embroidery or anything on it. He's got a beard. He's got brown hair. Um, it's short. It's not long or anything. He just feels a lot better. He feels a lot stronger now. He's even growing angel wings. Um, he's taking off and going to the next thing now. He seems to know where he's going next in his life. Um, he's, I guess that's over now. So weird. It just is. He's some, he's turning into like a hawk bird and he's hanging out with us on this tree where we're singing and this moon. But it's now turning into daytime. It's not night anymore. So it's like a big sun. Um, I'm just turning us into eagles because I just, we're kind of like little songbirds right now. I don't know. I just want to make sure he's not up to any tricks. Um, he feels great though. He does not feel, I do not feel intimidated. I do not feel concerned. I feel really warm in my heart about him. Um, something feels really good about this. He's actually able to sit in our sacred space. He would not be able to enter it if he was of a lesser vibration. Seems to be hungry for something. I'm going to take him. I'm just holding him. This hawk bird. Um, I'm just holding him. And I'm giving him to my my spirit guide, Hawkeye. And then... Because um, Hawkeye is a Native American. Um, and he has... This hawk version too, he sees with uh, amazing clarity, right? Um, it's a really high vibration of wisdom. Um, but he's also in connection with a deep, r renowned connection with Mother Earth and, and just sacredness um, and all of that is really beautiful. And so I just feel like he knows what to do from here. And I need to get back on this journey with you, Juliana. 
Because there's more spaces, you know. This whole thing has to be transformed. It, this whole thing has to be transformed. I can't believe what a big job this is. Ask me if I know where to go next. Um, I don't know. Everything feels a lot better with that train. I mean, there's no thing there now. Um, I'm going to go into the sewer space where I've been. Um, I just want things to grow here. I just want this to be broken and there's no goo. Um, I'm, I'm going to locate that boy with the book, but I just, he's not in here right now. I just want this whole space to heal right now. I just, there seems to be, this whole thing was coated in gold and it's opening up um, to the sun now. And then Mother Earth here too, so she can grow things. It's just a, it's demolishing this sort of, um, I'm using red as a cinnamon -y energy, so it just eats away at this negative energy that is this construction of the space. So it has no form anymore, and now I can grow things that are of, of earth and light and all that. So, there's a big pink flower growing up here. Um, I'm creating a sacred space here. It's sort of like um, an odd memorial or something, um, a reverent, a space of reverence for this experience, but um, a reflection of healing, renewal, rebirth, and just letting go of the past. It's all about seeing what, what it's like you endure something and you need to see that um, all things can heal, you know? It's like atomic bomb goes off in Japan and now... 50 years later, it, things do heal. Things really do heal. So we have to acknowledge even demons can transform. Even um, everything does heal. So this this sort of, um, they're taking off these two piping sides, these like massive angel men. Um, they don't have the really big black wings. They're sort of smaller ones, um, but they're really strong. Um, and they're just carrying these pipe, like two halves of a, or like a pipe, piping system that was just cut in half. And so they're sort of like um, two pieces here and they're just sort of carrying them into the, the source light. And I'm just here and now it's just a flat space and this beautiful pink flower is growing here. Um, I'm filling this earth with snakes that ease away all the lesser energies that are beneath it. Um, but everything beneath this feels very solid right now. I don't feel like anything's altering right now. I'm just filling it with snakes that eat away old energy and transform it. And so. This feels a lot better. Sunlight is hitting this space and everything is filling with light and warmth and healing. It's sort of a reflection of peace now because the body was not able to be laid to rest properly and there was um, th there's a sensation that a proper death was not allowed or at one time, you know, even today, some people really feel that you need a burial scenario, a ceremony, um, a, a proper sacred burial ceremony for the body. Um, you, you, I mean, it's whatever you feel you need, and then that, so th there was something about this that, um, this, that was, that was not, that too was a disturbing part of this, um, because the body was not able to, um, experience a sacred energy to let it die in peace, or like, let it be, di I don't understand it, they're showing me what is, um, a sort of a grave or something, and a flower here to, honor the dead. Um, it's kind of what it is. But it's also a reflection of everything is healed and in part of the past. Um, it's almost like a, an interesting sort of meditation, sort of sacred um, 
space of reverence is interesting. It's really intense right now. The energy is this sort of um, the train station has no value. I mean, it's not. There's nothing there. I mean, it, there's n is no such thing as a train anymore in this whole thing. Um, it's just a party station, <laughs> but it's a like a angels and um, singing and uh, musical instruments and laughter and happiness and joy in this light space. And then here, so serene and peaceful. It's just no nothing here that is disturbing at all. It feels wonderful, so beautiful. That feels really good. I'm just ensuring there's blue sky, there's some some light puffs of cloud. Um, everything is just full of just what is a natural setting of a loving, beautiful, peaceful setting. There's trees surrounding the space, grass growing. It's just really, I'm gonna fill this with green. You just want more green energy in here. I'm asking Raphael to come and he seems to know what to do. He's putting his feet firmly on the ground and his hands are touching the earth and he is projecting all kinds of green energy into the earth here. Um, it's really beautiful. <laughs> Um, it's really awesome the way this feels right now. There's all kinds of green energies sort of filling the space, sucking it, this pushing it through his wings. Um, it's just sort of channeling around this flower. Um, it's just really green here. It's glowing green. It's amazing. It's just everything is coming alive with more greenery. Um, more green plants. The plants are even greener now, more vibrant. The colors are just really brought out in the flower even. All the hues, everything is just turning to extremely vibrant green, emerald green color. It's just so pretty right now. Um, it's just the health of everything is just full of luscious green color. Um, it's really beautiful. Whew. Tell you what, that's pretty intense right there um all right so <laughs> we've got a couple more stations here we got to get around to um i just need a oh, good yawn just try to <laughs> okay so okay I need to go and heal that space, the first one I ever went into, and I need to heal that root thing. Um, this space that has that conveyor belt, everything's sort of stalled out right now. All this healing energy is just, it's taking its toll on all the other energies, it's sort of losing power. Um, this dragon, this, this dragon's still there, this sort of old blood is just drying up. Um, I'm going to have to do something about this red energy that's just burning, sort of. But this conveyor belt is not in motion, and whatever this dark man is not there anymore. Um, that white cloud that was sort of filling the space, it's just, it stalled out. It did not go any further. Um, there was an entity down here, sort of a teenager type guy. Um... Nothing is here. It's like they all left. <laughs> they all got out of Dodge. <laughs> but this dragon is here still. It's a black dragon. Um, I feel inspired to do something here with energy. And Raphael's here with me. Um, we'll just bring the Care Bears in here and the ponies and we'll get our love song playing. Um... And we'll get birds in here, and we'll get Mother Earth in here, and we're just going to start filling this space with love from all different angles. Got Care Bears up here on the conveyor belt, I got Care Bears down by the dragon, I got ponies, I got um, mute jukeboxes, I got um, all kinds of energy going through here. I've got green, um, I'm saying Angel Reiki, I'm just filling this space with as much light as I can. I'm just pouring it in here. It's an odd bubble just came out of the ground. 
It's just there's something wanting to come out of the ground like an old plant or something. Um, this dragon doesn't even move. It looks like it's not even made out of. It's not a real dragon. It just it just stalled out like it's just a dragon statue now. Um, it's an odd thing trying to come out of the ground like a Venus, massive black Venus flytrap, but it just hasn't quite manifested yet. It's trying to come out of the ground though. They're telling me to help it out of the ground. I'm releasing snakes into the ground um, in order to help ease away the negative energy just to pull this weed up and out. Um, that was a pretty big one. It's even just the instantly drying it all out and it's just... It was like a massive Venus flytrap plant that just came out of the ground here, right where that pool of blood was and then that dragon which is now like there's no blood here it's just dried up land and it's a black statue of a dragon and then this venus flytrap which was really powerful instantly just dried out and now it's just plopped down it's just drying out and withering into nothing all this whole everything is drying out even the air has no toxic rancid sensation to it um, this odd conveyor belt thing is just a contraption that needs to just, it's part of the path, so I'm just using spicy red energy to eat away at it. It's just, I'm seeing what was an odd, it was sort of a fat old guy, um, wearing like a wife beater type, um, meat man, um, like a white apron even too, and it sort of has a knife and he just sort of cleans it on his apron. Um, there's something really gross about him. Um, he sure likes knives and he sure likes touching meat um, and cutting meat. He liked it a lot. He would even take the meat on his um, knife. He's really gross. Um, he's just sort of a, he's just got a really big belly that comes down and out and around and he's just sort of just slovenly, you know. Um, he's gross. He's really creepy and sick. Um, but he, ugh. The way he likes to touch the meat is like, it, even for me to experience this, it's like, it feels awesome in my hand, this cold meat. I don't know what it is about him. Um, likes, likes the way blood tastes. Um, he had this odd thing about him. Um, I can't really get grasp. It's really he has an odd fetish with touching meat um, and then using the knife to cut it and the taste of blood. And just some, but it's not as if it, he didn't. I don't get the impression he liked um, the killing part of a human being. Um, but he sure did like the cutting part. Um, it's like he had a meat locker full of body. Like, he just sort of was like a s sick man. Um, that is what I'm getting from this. I just, there's something about a meat man and the knife and the, like, licking the, I just. Um, that had to be part of the wisdom here. They're not putting these, all these, I mean, this is the best I can gather about this thing. Um. And I'm telling you, bones were broken, and this is just, he would cut a leg off. Um, that's what all that grossness in the sewer thing, um, it's like I was in a leg or something. Um, it just was bad, I'm telling you. Um, and he himself looked really gross, because his diet was not, he was not a healthy um is like his body was digesting just rotten meat all the time. It's just, he was just really gross. Um, but that is a sad, I'm telling you that is a soul, that is, that is a sad thing. We need to get these souls transformed. Um, that guy could not on his life get past this sick, twisted thing he had going on. Um, on his life. If we were to hear about this from the news, we would fill that energy with even more energy of negativity. Negative energy does not um, create positive. Two negatives don't create a positive in this scenario. Um, you have a demon doing demon work, and then you have human beings who find out about it, and they're like, oh god, I can't stand this. It's so terrible. It's so gross. And now it's filling him with even more negative energy. 
You can't heal demons by filling them with more negative energy. You actually, we have to stop being human about it. We actually have to see this with spiritual eyes. And so instead of seeing this man as a creep, gross, yuck, I actually have to go to him like Jesus would and touch him with unconditional love from heaven and know that we understand your soul journey went in this direction and we are here to help transform you into a reflection of love again because you've forgotten, you've lost your way is basically what it is. Um, I don't like, I, as a human being, I don't want to just, I'm not condoning what they're doing, but I have to go without judgment. That is what heaven is. Um, heaven is unconditional love without judgment. Um, acceptance, um, allowing the soul to be forgiven even for this type of terrible activity. Um, there's just, I'm telling you, Juliana, there was some sick things. And I don't even know, this just feels like one part of a big, pu bigger puzzle of uh, ex torture experiences. Um, because there's so, sort of some older dungeon feels to this too, but... Um, this is some sort of, this feels like a very, even more recent event. Um, because this meat man looks like he could be from the last hundred years or so, or two hundred years. It doesn't look like a, um, he doesn't look old in time or medieval or whatever. Um, that's the best I can anal anal analyze this, like maybe from the 19, the early 1900s or something. Maybe like 19, let's just throw out like 1920 or 1930 or something like that with a, his own little meat market or something. Um, I don't understand because there's also scenes of what is like really bad, um, like being put, um, being actually in a torture setting in a dungeon sort of thing too. Um, there's a deep, renowned connection that your soul and the soul of your son have with each other, even going through really terrible events like this. Um, you get to feel now the joy and the blessing of simplicity and the appreciation of the simple things, because you can. You can be thankful for just the simplest things in life, because they they can bring the most joy. When you go through a nightmare like that, that what you appreciate is just so, so different now. Um, so spirit guides are saying so you appreciate life more now now that you understand and now you will appreciate life even more than you ever thought before um i even appreciate life even more now um thanks to your soul and this whole journey and experience and just teaching us all um more about this so so just saying thank you <laughs> um Okay, I know your soul is not going to give up on me, and my soul is not going to give up on this whole thing and trying to comprehend it. As a human being, I honestly don't want to. I don't want to see this as in conjunction with you. It's impossible for me to accept it. Um, but when you come to a point of acceptance, now you're able to find the way to heal. Um, sometimes I'm a human being too, you know. Um, so I can get vulnerable just through that alone. Um, to do this work, you can't be vulnerable. Um, you have to let go of the humanness. Um, you have to align with the highest vibration of your infinite soul. So sometimes my humanness does get in the way and I can't I get stalled out. The energy was really bad. It was hard to break it. Um, so, okay, this space here. Uh, the image of that meat man. Um, the licking the knife thing. Um, because I get the pleasure of experiencing that, um, but I experience it as him, and so I myself get to experience the joy of it, right? While I'm simultaneously like, uh, this is just wrong. This whole thing is so wrong. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to go to him. This is why he's coming back, because I was gonna ignore that. I just, I just sort of... You know, that is just a memory, and I'm just going to heal the space, but clearly I need to go back and face this man. Um, he he was quite, he was honestly confused by his own behaviors. Um, he didn't, he did, he loved it. He had a fetish for this. Um, it was almost sexually arousing for him, but he didn't really, 
it's not as if he really wanted this. It's kind of odd in that way. It's almost like he's battling with himself. He doesn't want to be like this, but he doesn't know how not to, and it feels so good that he can't resist it. Um, now, now you have somebody who needs help. Where do they go? Um, hi, I have this sort of strange need to touch meat and cut off body parts and then lick the knife. Like, who's good? At, like, oh my god, you're going to jail right now. Um, that's what we would do. Or be like, oh, well, this guy needs to get blown down. We don't want him in society anymore. No, you actually have to heal this guy and be non-judgmental. He's actually asking for help. Hey, who would he have gone to for help with this? Nobody. People would have been like, oh God, get the devil out of this guy. You know, Christian ceremonies and without the understanding, you know what I mean? So I'm going to him. I'm going to him with angels here, Michael and Raphael. He seems to want to, His this experience is making him barf out all this ingestion. I mean, he himself had this, those eating the rotten meat. It's sort of an act of him, he's already sick in the mind, and so he's also ingesting the sickness too. And it's just a whole bet, big charade of grossness. Um... So I'm helping him release all this. We all are... He needs to feel this. He needs to feel the sickness be released from his soul. I can't let this soul continue on this road. Not, not like this. This is really helpful. His soul is going to be reborn today. He's not fighting this at all. He really just had a weird sick sickness. Um... He even knew he was sick, but he was just so like, it just, that was so pleasurable to him. He didn't understand what, it, why it was there or how to stop it. He couldn't fight it off. He just went with it, you know? Um, there's something here. We are pulling out a dead body from inside of his body. It is a young child. Um, he's eating the dead people. He's just... There's quite a lot of people that he had eaten. This is what that burial ceremony was about. These people were not, were buried inside of his body. That's why I was saying it's like I'm in a demon, inside of a demon. Um, because I was. Because your soul fragment was eaten. Like, you were eaten. Um, ugh. I wish this knife and the licking the knife thing would go away. Um, come on now. Um, he we're, he's allowing the freedom of all of this. He really is. He's open and welcoming this. He doesn't want this. I'm putting the knife down. I'm actually rinsing it off in the sink. I'm now evaporating the knife. There are no knives. I'm evaporating the meat market. I, we're putting him into a natural space that is completely the opposite of his experience. There's no meat grinding. There's no meat market. There's no bodies in his meat locker. Um, we are putting him by the the ocean or something. He's sort of, sort of, I'm taking him, you know what, I'm just taking him into heaven right now. Um, he's really open, he wants this. Um, it just feels natural for him to be in a space like heaven, not by a beach or something. I'm just going to take him into the source light and allow everything to be removed there. It's coming out a lot faster. There were victims, um, they're saying the word victims, um, of him. I don't know how he ca captured them, I don't, they're not showing me anything, they're not telling me anything more. I just get to en enjoy the experience of knowing what this guy is like in real life. Um, you had an experience with him, and so did your son. <sighs> Okay, so we're just going to continue to get this. He's really, he literally, 
Wit was a sort of deranged soul, and he doesn't want this. He's allowing this all to come out. We are effectively healing him. We are here with him, in heaven with him. Everything that is coming out, there's sort of... It is in, in the source light, each body is sort of regaining sort of identity and waking up. So we're sort of healing many soul fragments here. Um, but I would say, I don't know what the number would be. Um, maybe like 17 or something. Um, over the course of like 20 years or something weird like that. Uh, I mean... It's sort of, he just could not control his, this. This would be, I mean, I don't mean to describe it this way, but this would be his sort of sexual pleasure. So he couldn't control his hunger for this. Um, but he is allowing it to be released from, the sickness be released from his soul even. He needs this. I actually, it's sort of odd, but this sick, twisted soul you know, he's sick. He's got a, a sickness, of the sickness of the chaos, destruction, the demon sickness. So he's, he's somehow, I found your soul fragment inside of his body. That's why I kept saying, I don't understand it because it's like I'm in a demon, um, in a demon circus inside of a demon. It's so sick and twisted in here. Imagine how many, how much chaos was feeding off of his illness and inspiring even more. Um, and now you have all these bodies in here too. Um, your son and this other sort of, this male, I don't, um, with no arms and no legs pinned like that, um, he just, when he would go in these phases, it's as if he could shut off all of his senses, that he could see that this was not, um, he didn't want to understand that he was harm. He this thing over was too much. I mean, um, he had the ability to turn his all of his senses off, so he would not feel um, that he was creating suffering for others. He just needed the meat. Um, it's really weird. Um, it's really terrible. It's very terrible. Um, so we're, all of these sort of different ages are coming out, um, is this coming out of him? He's sort of allowing this, um, he just wants to, he doesn't want this anymore. He never did want it, and it just sort of got out of hand. I don't know what caused this in the first place for his soul. But his soul is absolutely ready to transform. I'm putting a diamond into him. We've gotten he's some more coming out of him still. Just seeing angel reiki, and then we'll see how this works here. There's diamonds in different places. They're going into his mind, um, to his third eye, to his heart, to his stomach. Um, Diamonds going into all of his joints and to every part of his body. And they're just sort of channeling different energy flows that are really high vibration to just get this out of there. Okay, it just that it really feels like it's drying out all the what was in here. All these um, people are just sort of. I mean, there's all sort of a blur of bodies right now that are just light bodies, and they're just, they're sort of coming to their senses or awareness right now, and they're just feeling, feeling free and light. Um, it really helped a lot of souls today. Not just your soul, Juliana, but a lot of souls. Um, something feels really great about this. Um, they're just so much happiness right now. We're playing some more, we just need to really inspire more energy to help this he's sort of sitting down his whole body is starting to evaporate and he's sort of drying out what was a big man like maybe six foot two or something um i don't know six foot or so he just looks so sloppy um really gross skinned because he wasn't healthy at all um oversized belly that just hung way down um it was really gross 
but he um he just he's just in laying down in this um in this cloudy area and then he's sort of shrinking in size to what is like a baby size but he's turning yellow and he just really just he almost wants to just disappear like just make me disappear um he's turning like a yellowy color he doesn't even look human anymore he just looks like us i don't know he just he's not his it's just a head basically with this sort of deranged mangled body sort of looking thing and he's yellow um, he's just shrinking down, and now he literally is turning into a natural, healthy-looking baby. Um, they're really wanting to show human beings that sick souls that get sick like this, and they do these things to other souls, they can be healed, and they can transform into light. They actually can want to. And so when we, we see this stuff and say, ew, gross, that's really natural for our humanness to do that. You know, we want to squish the cockroaches. We don't want the cockroaches. We have to take it from a different angle. And so, uh, unfortunately, the gift of a nightmare like this it gives your soul a whole new respect for the simple things. And that's, that's good. And that's also kind of sad um, that it had to go through that in order to create this. But he too needed help. Um, who was going to help him? Eventually, you, you, so now here we've gotten this gift from you, Juliana, so now I can heal him as well. So his soul is actually reborn. I'm giving him to an angel here in heaven. And the angel's holding him, this baby, and he seems just like a natural happy baby. Um, that is all part of his soul's past. His soul wanted this, to experience this. No wonder, the whole thing was so deranging. Um, now I understand so much more. I did not. I did not understand it. Um, that's so much better. He's not, this is not, um, I feel a lot better. Oh, I can't imagine what you're going to think of this video. You're going to be like, oh my god, that's, are you serious? And I'm going to say, yeah, I know. I did not expect this either. Um, I'm going to go heal this space. Um, it's just all being lifted to heaven. It's just, it's all old part of the past. To get him healed is to heal this more than, um, I don't even have to do the work now. It's just doing it all for me. There's a really special gift here for your soul and everything your soul has contributed to this infinite awareness. To endure that tragedy and that nightmare gives a gift to all of our souls is of experience and learning. Um, everything is healing. In fact, it's sort of like there's a dirt land that is in, in grass growing over top. This whole thing just filled in with this an earth. Um, soils and the soils are just digesting everything that was here this dragon energy and the um this dragon energy um i just need to go to that root thing with the finger as well um there's more to this still um i'm so close but i gotta make sure everything is done i'm just gonna check that this dragon is just sort of like a cardboard piece and it's just melting away um I just wanted to make sure that wasn't a real soul or what that was exactly because it just is sort of, I just, if that's something I need to focus on, I need to. Um, so I'm just filling this all in now. There was a small spirit inside that dragon thing. Um, it's like a tiny little bubble that's glowing white. It's just lifting above this grassiness. Um, because this whole thing filled in like a pool that just got filled in with soil and then now we got grass growing you never even knew what was down there before um, it's just floating up um, it's something beautiful about it I'm just gonna make sure this goes into source light so I'm just putting that in source light right now um, that feels really good for me it's like just a tiny little person in there <laughs> I don't even know what that is um, but it feels amazing, whatever that was about. That felt amazing to see that. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I just want to focus on getting through this stuff. Um, and that's in the source light. That's all I care about right now. Um, everything feeling a lot better now. Everything is feeling a lot better. 
Whew. Oh, man. Okay, so... Everything feels great. I feel so much better. I'm just waiting for a minute. I just need to wait a minute. Um, everything just feels so much better. It just does. I'm going to this route now. Um, it's just energy, right? I just, I need to wait a minute and allow this to happen. It's your soul deserves it. It's almost like it is finding peace that is desperately needed for a while. This is green grass. Um, this is green energy. It's sort of like I'm filling those orbs with green from the inside out. Whereas yesterday I was like, I'm just taking these as orbs and I'm just going to go up here and put them in the triangle and fill them with green. But it seems as though I knew that I would have to do this to go heal each one of these spaces. And they heal with green energy too. Um, turning everything into a natural thriving green spaces. Um, everything feels so much better. <laughs> Sort of a green sun, even. Um, it's quite gorgeous. Who'd ever thought of a green sun? Um, it's just a glowing green sun, and it's filling even everything. It just feels like it's just turning into green. This space that just transformed in this sort of with the dragon and everything is literally just a glowing green space right now. Um, it just it was grassy with some trees and really vibrant green. And now we have a green sun and everything's just filling up with green energy. Even the soil is like turning into green energy. Everything is just turning into green energy. Um, they're asking if I want to see these spaces all being a reflection of green healing energy. And I'm saying, yeah. I don't know why, but I just feel like green is something you need. Um, these, this natural, these natural spaces are still here and they're soaking in just green. So this where there was a train station is just, I'm filling it with so much green. I'm creating a green sun and just filling it with so much green energy, the soils and everything. This space with the flower where everybody's sort of buried um, type of thing, filling it with so much green energy, um, soil and everything beneath here, everything is turning into green energy. Um, I'm allowing a sun, a green sun here too. So now we have these spaces, right? Um, now I'm going into where this root thing was with the finger. And the man who was sort of like a doctor. Um, I'm just feeling this root. It's just like a root. It looks like a, a root. You just take it and there's a root. Um, and then you open it up like a pea, like a bean pod and there's a finger inside. It's like the demon circus, psycho sick circus here. Um, so you, I'm picking this root up and just filling it with green energy, just going throughout it. Um, it's just evaporating instantly. I'm touching this doctor who just stalled out. He kind of like the dragon just turned into a cardboard piece. He's, a, he's just a cardboard piece. He just stalled out. He's like a a statue. I thought it, the dragon was a statue, but it sort of just touched, it just fell down to like a cardboard piece. Um, this whole thing is just a mirage. Um, this whole thing is just a mirage. But that that root of it all was literally this another reflection of this butcherman. Um, he was a butcherman, is basically it. Uh, he, he just... That's done and over. I'm not feeding any more thoughts into that. He's healed. He's transformed. I'm, we need to actually be thankful um, and share love with his soul who is now reborn and about to go on a new journey of self-discovery. Um, and it's going to be a good one. 
It's not going to be a painful, harmful one. So everything just is, is, is this whole space is rumbling like like shaking the ground is shaking everything is shaking um and this is a massive heart is just here it's just trying this is a massive heart here um it just sort of like that train station just turned into heaven light um and then there was love too there now i'm remembering that see how much it's hard to keep up with all this stuff I just, I don't know why, but I need to, some this heart thing in the conjunction with this heaven thing and the sounds and the music and the everything, um, this whole thing just, I mean, it's basically just transformed instantly. This root has no value anymore. It's just a green or um, mist of energy. And then it's just all somehow in conjunction with this heaven space and this heart and this red, this whole thing just evaporated pretty quick. Um, this is a pretty big deal. I'm just, um, I'm just gonna tell you what I see right now. I don't, I can't even keep up with half of these scenes anymore. So this is what I see. I see a triangle, but it's an upside down one. I've got two orbs and then an orb, and they're all green. And then up here is a heart, and it's in like a, a yellowish white vapor energy. Um, the heart is sort of somehow transcending into this triangle, and this triangle is, it's just everything is uh, is up right now. So triangle. And then um, hard inside with this energy coming out of it. Um, we had all these orbs protecting this with other triangle. They remember all that. There was a bunch of us standing around here. Um, this is where your soul is reborn in this orb space. This whole thing is about to rebirth your soul. I'm really about using green in order to do this work for you. Um, there's this tree with this green energy where you are and the birds singing. Um, I feel like um, somehow you're, this is right. This whole thing is right. You um, in this space falling asleep um, in order to be reborn through this orb thing. Um, this triangle and all this green healing is massive. That that has no value. That demon guy, that sort of reptilian man. There was a kid. I moved you into sacred space. That's there. Um, I'm just gonna go over here to him real quick, um, just to make sure. I just don't leave anything hanging. I don't want to. I don't do half the job. I just need to finish it. He's just turning into a liquid and just going away. Um, there's not. There was sort of a, a chain link to his ankle and yours, but he, this whole, all this work is just. There's nothing left for him to do here. Um, he's just turned into. There's nothing left for him to do here. He is. He's not here anymore. Um, now you are free of this. Is all the only way you can describe it. Um, this space that that you guys were standing on where that he was like a black orb and you um, this space here is just I'm they're just saying to allow it to break off and then they're taking it now into source light this whole space so I just broke it off of the ground where you are um, and by the tree now and just like an iceberg broke off from the main space we're just taking it to source light to transform it. So that's done. You just can't leave some of these things. And so here we are. Here are this tree bird singing um, in the sunny now. Um, and you seem to be... It just... I'm just going to mo move you now from the sacred tree. And I'm going to keep this memory here in your soul. Because this soul this is good. And then um, with our soul singing um, in this tree, this sacred space... I'm moving your body into this orb um, where everything is taking place, sort of heart and this energy, and I'm using diamond energy in here as well. Everything is sort of co combining into one um, super orb of energy is going energy everywhere.
you are also releasing some old matter. It doesn't doesn't need it anymore. You're sitting up and you're coming to an awareness right now. You're standing up tall and you seem really strong. You seem really self-sufficient. You don't feel just derailed by that chaos world anymore. Um, you feel really strong right now. This heart is filling up your heart space. Um, you are actually so strong right now and you are glowing with incredible strength. You just look amazing right now. You yourself are just glowing now. We're all just enjoying watching this whole take this whole thing take place. Um, it's a lot of energy right now. I mean, it's just wearing me out. It's just sucking it out of me. It's just good energy. It's like amazing energy. It's dazzling. Um, it's just so powerful. I mean, this this is huge. You're going to break through some barriers. Um, you're invincible right now. You're so much better. You're so much stronger and so much just... You're, this is just developing this bond even more, um, strengthening your awareness of who and what you are and what you have done as a soul. And now you understand why music is so important to you, why laughter, why these simple things. Um, now you can even appreciate them with even more, um, even more gusto, you know what I mean? Um, and somehow this gives you an odd inner strength that you have never, I mean, you already have inner strength, but this is sort of like the super inner strength. Um, it's like, wow, you're already a strong woman. Now it's like, oh my gosh, look out, you're unstoppable strong. Um, this is some sort of ma massive inner strength. Um... You're going to go on to do some amazing things in your life. You're not you're not going to be just that whole thing. Oh my gosh. How come you were so happy and so that is that whole thing had to get healed. That was the most toxic thing. I mean, oh my gosh. They're saying to allow this work to complete itself and and you're in with heaven right now. Your soul is experiencing or sort of in a learning state or a meditative state. It is in a transformative state. Sometimes the soul just instantly transforms and sometimes it actually, it experiences so much healing that it goes into a, a sort of a sleep state or like a meditation state. Um, you're super strong right now, but you're sort of like reconfiguring your identity or what you want to do next now that you've been empowered in this way. It's like something super massive. Um... This is a really big gift, um, but this also is a gift to me for my learning, um, and then a gift to us all so we can understand um, about demons and demon worlds and how to heal them and what their strength and power is, and then, you know, just everything related to this. This I'm all about changing the human perception of things. Um, because how we perceive as human beings is not uh, you need to perceive as a soul or an infinite spirit um, who understands a world where time does not exist um, in the journey of a soul, even a soul that becomes corrupted and then can transform to in the light. So we need to be promoting transformation, not promoting more negative energy that it just prevents the soul from experiencing relief. This, this man's soul just wanted, did not want this, but did not know how not to experience this. Um, I'm so happy that this has happened. These souls got released from him, and then he too is released from his own demon sickness. Um, and now this entire sphere in your spiritual atmosphere is completely released. In the light of heaven, in this green energy, and this whole thing that's so beautiful right now um that drain pipe that was oozing out junk i don't want to see a drain pipe in the middle of nature i'm transforming it into a bush of flowers um there's nothing left to see of negative energy um, angels coming down and allowing this to manifest with even more beauty this glowing this pink bush is glowing with red or like pink love energy 
still pink. <laughs> it's like passion and love. Um, okay, Juliana, there you go. <laughs> I'll be curious to see how you're feeling um, in the next couple days. Uh, work like this, I mean, that space right there was so toxic and acidic and terrible. That whole reflection of that whole experience was so bad. Um, just be prepared to feel like um, your body just ran a marathon. Uh, like it, This spiritual healing is going to be digested by your body. So just be okay relaxing and letting it um, just process naturally. Um, you're going to be feeling like world's better. In two weeks, you're not even going to know who you are. Uh, this healing this big is going to be so transformative, completely transformative. Um, Spirit is saying it's already transformative, just the awareness and the wisdom alone. Um, but the healing energy is processing right now, and it's a lot. So, um, okay, so there you have it. Um, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I got to do this work for you. Um, there's a reason why we come across each other's, you know, pathways. So you needed this. You really did need this. Um, I was not going to give up. So... For all you viewers out there, feel free to connect with me if you'd like to experience your own soul rebirth journey. Um, and, then, and so the more healing I can share, the happier I feel. Um, so thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.